mia. I finally took a little break from modeling. I took a break from Los Angeles from all the castings. So in this video, I just want to show you my daily routine and what I do when I do not model and when I'm just in my hometown in the Black Forest. So let's see what's up. Oh fuck yeah! Woo! Uh. Woo! That was good. All right, so this is one of my favorite things to do when I'm home in the Black Forest. Look at this. This is where I grew up. This is the Black Forest. Absolute silence. Except for some birds and maybe a bear or a deer. I'm all by myself. All those years, I never had an appreciation for nature, for the forest, for the silence. But now, once you live in New York City and you're constantly surrounded by subway sounds and black people yelling at you. Now I actually love and appreciate silence. And what really changed in terms of my lifestyle is that in New York I was walking from one casting to another, to an audition, I had to go to my agency, I had to go to a meeting, I had to go to an acting class. But now I, I cannot walk to the subway station because there's no subway here. I strongly believe that if you want to have a healthy body, it's not just about working out, it's also just about being active. So every day it's part of my morning routine to get out here and just go for a run. And once you're in the routine, once you do this every day, it becomes normal. It's just like brushing your teeth. You don't complain about brushing your teeth anymore, but people complain so much about going to the gym or something. But once you make it a routine, it's gonna be so easy. Every single morning, I'm just dying to get out here to put on my hard style music and just to run and feel free. Okay, so no matter if you walk or you run, just trying to make it a routine and I'm gonna put on my heart style music and keep going. All right, I'm gonna take a little break here. It says, Trinkwasser Krenbad, which basically means you can get amazing water. It comes right here from the forest. Ah. I think I've said it before, hydration is the most important thing in life. Because no matter what you do, if you want to lose weight, if you want to have a slimmer face, if you want to have clear skin, it's all about hydration. So many people don't know this, but every glass of water you drink actually burns around 20 calories because your body has to heat it up first in order to use it. So I would just say stay away from all sugary drinks, stay away from all that bullshit, stay away from coffee if you can, and just drink water. I'm not kidding you, it's going to make a huge difference. So one more thing I love about the countryside. It's so easy to make friends here. Check it out. <laughs> Come here, my friend. It's me, Mario. <laughs> exactly. So let's start with the room tour. This is actually my room. This is where the magic happens. This is my magic pin board where I collect some of my memories. I have all my cum cards from all over the world here. From pretty much every place I visit, I have the habit to take one postcard and put it on there. So I can look around and be like, hey, yeah, this is the time when I went to New Zealand. This is the time when I went to Florence. This is the time when I had my comp card in New York for Fashion Week. It's fun to have these memories. Um... Okay, so I just finished my workout in the forest. I had some fun, I made some friends. And now after my workout, after I showered, I come back here to one of my favorite rooms. This is my yoga clear mind room. So for the longest time I was only doing weightlifting and I was getting bigger, I was building muscle, but what I didn't realize was that I was getting so tense and didn't have any flexibility. That's why I now I made it a habit to go for a quick yoga routine every, every time I lift. And here's the thing why I love yoga. Most people always think, hey Mario, you have an awesome life right now, right? Nobody's telling you when to wake up. You don't have any structure. You can basically do whatever you want to do. But most people don't see that this can be really hard. And I'm going to be completely honest, a lot of times when I came back to the Black Forest and I didn't have that rush, I didn't have to run to 10 castings a day, I didn't have the constant challenge, I was feeling kind of depressed. And that's why now it's so important to me to have that structure, to tell myself, okay, Mario, you're gonna wake up every day at seven. And I think that yoga practice and that stretch and building that into my day and making progress has helped me tremendously to be super happy and extremely productive and focused while I was in the black forest. Sunsets in my face, yay! So one of the things I always do when I don't go to castings, I don't model, is actually Mario Cook's recipes. I'm gonna have a lot more recipes on my YouTube channel. I'm just gonna show you real quick what I made here 
you can see this is actually something I just invented it's rolled chicken breast with sage tomatoes and a lot of garlic this chicken breast is very lean it's basically just protein and garlic is great for your testosterone <laughs> so coming up with alternative and healthy recipes is one of my favorite things to do especially here in my hometown when I can actually cook for my mom and I also need some energy now because my dad is gonna take me to a zipline park where I'm basically gonna risk my life swinging from one tree to another so I need some energy for that and we're gonna fly like angels it's for girls, perfect. Let's do this. One reason you know that you're in Germany, wherever you go, there's a hidden box. There you go. It took me four hours to fix my hair, and now they asked me to put on this ridiculous helmet. I hate my life right now. This is the end, and this is where it starts. It's an endless rope. I might die. Okay, Dad, Okay. tell my mom I love her, okay? If I don't make it. <laughs> Okay. Hey, check him out. This is Daddy Mario. Mamma mia. And it just takes balls. Do you see that, huh? Do you see that, Mom? Do you see what I can do? I'm gonna show you what I can do, Mom. So whenever I'm scared, you guys know what I need? <sighs> I'm, I'm ready for this, okay? Let's do this, all right. Three, one, two. Whoa, Dad! She's coming at you! <laughs> okay, I made it. I lost one carrot on the way, but I'm just happy to be alive. I think I need a drink. And I'm kind of like a black sheep in my family because all my family, they're like big beer drinkers in Germany, like my dad. And I usually don't drink beer. So today I'm going to be a good German boy and drink a nice cold beer. Hey dad, I'm going to drink a beer with you. I'm going to make you proud today. You wanna drink a beer with me? Yeah, it's gonna happen. That's the first time. That's the first time? I just told my dad that I'm gonna drink a beer with him. I'm so happy. He's so happy, happy. you know? He's so happy. <laughs> Hoi! Oh, shit! <laughs> Good German traditions. Prost! <laughs> mm. Daddy, I love beer. So basically, this is beer for girls in Germany. But don't tell my dad, okay? Sunset! Hey, okay, I have to say that this time I had an amazing time here in the Black Forest. Not only because I could see my family and my friends, no, also because I just needed a break from Los Angeles. I needed a break from New York. I needed a break from all the modeling, all the stress, all the castings, and especially all the noise. But now after a couple of weeks I realized that I also need that stress. I need that challenge and I'm just dying to go back to New York and go to castings again and just challenge myself. Because I feel like in life it's not about having one thing or the other. No, I feel like it's all about a balance. So I love the forest and the silence, but I also love the noise and the craziness of New York City. So if in your life you have a chance to find that balance by I don't know, traveling, taking a couple days off, just going to a park, whatever it takes you to find that balance because it makes you appreciate what you had before. And that's also why I'm gonna go back to Milan in a couple days. And you're probably gonna see my next vlog from Milan Fashion Week. So that's gonna be a bit different Then I'm also gonna have a vlog from New York Fashion Week. So there's a lot of stuff happening. So you should definitely subscribe to my channel. Always keep smiling and I'll see you in my next video.